Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for Technical and Vocational School. It is Unit 10, Lesson 5, Present and Real Conditional. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 2, Students' Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. Now, lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to use the present and real conditional in writing sentences. So, what is the present and real conditional? Let me show you with a sentence. I have I, gap, a day off, comma, I, gap, to the mall, full stop. Now, I would like to use the present and real conditional. So, if I had a day off, comma, I would go to the mall, full stop. Let me show you with another example. Adel, gap, in the park, gap, he, gap, time, full stop. I would like to use the present and real conditional. Look, Adel would play in the park if he had time. Let me show you with the third one. Sami, wealthy, comma, he, comma, a boat, full stop. If Sami were healthy, comma, he might buy a boat. So, the present and real conditional is used to talk about what you would do in an real or imaginary situation. So, the present and real conditional is this, if, and you have the past simple, then would and go. Would, play, if had, if were, might, buy. So, we use would, do, all right, in the other clause. And then, we use the imaginary situation in the if clause. Let me explain that even more. So, the present and real conditional, we, in order for us to understand it, I have to pull the timeline where the present in the middle, the past, and future. So, the end real should be in the present, all right? And the imaginary should be in the future. Okay, present and real conditional. If we have if close and main close, let me build that sentence. I start with if and then add a subject, then add a past simple, then a comma, and then a subject plus a model plus an infinitive there, which means a verb without to, and then a full stop. So, if you exercised comma, you would be fit. Let me check another sentence. If she called, comma, he might answer. If it rained tomorrow, comma, we would play in the rain, full stop. Let's have a quick task. So, uh, question, fill in the gaps in the following. And you have a mark of three. Number one, you have a gap. You read a lot, comma, you would become smart. Now you have to fill in the gap with the right word. You have five seconds. Now let's check the answer. The answer is F. If you are correct, give yourself a mark. Let's do another one. Two, if it gap a lot, comma, the ground would get wet. You have to use the verb between parentheses, rain. You have five seconds. Let's check. The answer is rained. If it rained, if it rained, past simple. All right, if you're right, give yourself a mark. Three, if he slept early, comma, he, gap early. You have to use wake up, five seconds.
Let's check the answer. The answer is would wake up. You have to use would plus the infinitive bear. All right, so give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. So now I have switched. I'm going to start with the main clause and then the if clause. So I start with the subject plus a model plus infinitive bear and then if without a comma. I do not add a comma here. If and then a subject, then a past, simple, and last, a full stop. So let's check the example. You would be fit, okay, if you exercised. You have to note that there is no comma in here. All right. A second example. He might answer if she called, full stop. Very good. We would play in the rain. See, model would play infinitive, and this is a complement to the sentence. Okay? If it rained tomorrow. If it rained tomorrow. So, what have changed? I have uppercased the first letters. I put them in capital. The Y, the E, and the W. And then, uh, sorry, and then I lowercased F lowercase f and I remove the comma so let's have a quick task task number two circle the correct verb forms and you have a mark of three number one if Mariam you have the option had or would have a lot of money comma she bought or would buy a beach house now Circle the right answer and you have five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. So the first one is had. If Mariam had a lot of money. And second one is she would buy a beach house. You start with the present. Uh, the past simple and then would plus infinitive without two. All right. Two. If she didn't have to or wouldn't have to work, comma, she took or would take a long vacation. Now you have five seconds to answer this. Okay, let's check the answer now. The first one is, didn't have to. If she didn't have to, didn't have to. Right, the second one is, would take. She would take a long vacation. Now, let's jump to three. Sammy went or would go fishing every day if he had or would have a boat. You have five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer for the first one is would go. Sammy would go because this is the main clause, right? You start with the infinity, uh, the, the model plus infinitive. Uh, finishing every day if he had, past simple, a boat. Now give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. All right, now, present and real conditional using B. Let's check. We start with the F clause and then the main clause. So, if subject, past simple of B, okay? Then comma, subject, model, plus infinitive, bear. It means without two. Full stop. So, if I say I, I say ah, uh, if I were. I do not say if I was. It is wrong. And the present and reconditional you use instead of was, were for I. You say, if I were here, comma, I would study. Okay, let's check with he. If he were the same thing. If he were here, he would study. She. If she were here, she would study. If it were here, it would study. You see, the four of them are just were. L let's check uh, the fifth one. If you were here, the same thing, you would study. If we were here, we would study. And the last one is, if they were here, they would study. You see? Were 
is the same with all the pronouns. All right. Now, present and read conditional questions. How to form questions? Let's check. WH question words plus main clause plus F clause. So, I start with the WH question word plus a model plus a subject plus an infinitive plus F, a subject, past simple, and complement with a question mark. Let's check the example. I say, what, WH question word, what? Model would, subject you, infinitive do, if you want, past simple, the race, complement of the sentence, question mark. What would you do if you won the race? All right, let's check another example. Now, I would change, instead of what, wor where. So, where would Amna go if she had a car? Okay, let's change the question word into who. Who would they call if they were here, if they were here? Now, this is, this is how you form the uh, present and reconditional using the WH question words. Now, let's have a quick task. Fill in the gaps in the following. And you have a mark of three. Number one, if I, if I gap a doctor, comma, I would save lives. And you have to use the verb be between parentheses. You have five seconds. Easy one. Let's check it. If I were, if I were, with be, you have to use were. All right. Two. Would she go if she had a flight ticket? Question mark. What is in the beginning? Five seconds. All right, let's check. You say, where would she go? Why did I choose where? Because you have go, go. You cannot choose anything else. Go means a place. Where would she go if she had a flight ticket? Question mark. Let's check the third one. Who would you gap if you had an extra seat? Question mark. Five seconds. right let's check the answer is choose all right who would you choose if you had an extra an extra seat all right the verb is choose all right now let's go to task number four practice on present and real conditional in your notebooks answer the following a combine two sentences into one using the present and real conditional like the example below all right, and you have a mark of six for this one. The question, I have homework. This is the first sentence. You have to combine it with, I can't go to the movies tonight. You have to join both and use the present and real conditional. So the example, the model answer for this is this. If I didn't have homework, okay, if I didn't have homework, I would go to the movies tonight so what did i ch what did i change i added f i added f to the first close so it becomes a f close and then i added didn't so i have homework i said if i didn't have homework i made it negative to make it conditional and then i added a comma instead of the full stop and i added the model word the model would instead of can't okay so because of the negativity the negative changed into this all right so this is how i changed it okay now we have a different one the question i don't have a lot of money full stop i can't buy a house by the beach you have to do this plus he has to work tonight full stop he can't go to the movies for she doesn't have a work permit, a permit, she can't get a job here. You have to do them by combining these two sentences together using the present and real conditional. 
and you have three minutes. All right, now let's check the model answer. So the model answer for question A, number one. If I had a lot of money, comma, I would buy a house by the beach. The second one, if he didn't have to work tonight, comma, he would go to the movies. Third one, if she had a work permit, comma, she would get a job here. Now correct yourself out of six and let's carry on. Task number five. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question. Write four sentences in the present and real conditional using the following. And you have a mark of eight. The first one. I, you have to combine all of these. I, plus a drive fast, plus get an accident. Join all these into a conditional. Second one. The story, be interesting, buy it. Third one. He find a lost dog, search its owner. For what we do when the match. You have to combine all of them, okay, in one present and real conditional. And you have three seconds. All right, now let's check the answer. But before you do that, let's check, let's use the self-correcting tools. All right, after you have finished, Make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now let's jump to the model answers for question B. So the first one, if I drove fast, comma, I would get an accident, full stop. Two, if the story were interesting, okay, comma, I would buy it. Three, if he found a lost wallet, he, comma, he would search for its owner. Four, what would we do if we won the match, question mark. All right, well done. Give yourself a tap on the back for finishing the lesson and give yourself two marks for uh, and then calculate your final mark. All right. Now, you are able to use the present and real conditional in writing sentences. And you have a mark of 25. If you have finished with 100% correct answers, that means 25 marks exactly, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 19 marks and above, you can go over the part that you failed in and redo it. If you have 75% or lower, that means 19 marks or below, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.